making the meeting between St. Francis and the Sultan a current reality, which means what remains of that historical event? Where is it possible to see its legacy and how to ensure that the meeting takes place today? This was the theme that dominated the third day of conferences held in Jerusalem to celebrate the 800th anniversary of the events in Damietta. The conference was significantly attended by Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, prefect of the Congregation for the Eastern Churches. It is a real joy to be able to associate ourselves with the path that Pope Francis has traced following the footsteps of Jesus, because what he does comes from the Gospel, and also following in the footsteps of St. Francis. The meeting that took place 800 years ago between Francis of Assisi and the Sultan would have been a gesture for the church today, for the world today, in order to build a new world of justice, dignity, fraternity, encounter and dialogue. Di giustizia, di dignità, di fraternità, di incontro, di dialogo. Actualization is not so much about speeches, commemorations, insights, reflections, but above all about what people, friars and lay people, experience through the encounter, and maybe even through the clash with certain realities. The church must be on the way out, but not only for evangelization. If it is true that St. Francis left the crusader camp for the meeting, it is also true that there was a meeting in the first place because also the Sultan left what I have called the comfort zone. Today, we still talk about the theme of the meeting as something new and extraordinary. Can you imagine what this kind of meeting was 800 years ago? This theme is not depicted in Francis's iconographies from a certain period, either because it wasn't understood or because it was of little interest or too peculiar. Particolare. In the afternoon, Cardinal Sandri entered the old city of Jerusalem through the door of Jaffa and then solemnly entered the Holy Sepulchre. Then there was a space for the voices and sounds of the Magnificat Institute. Between the desks of this music school, the meeting comes to life every day. Because we have all kinds of students, we have Muslim students and Christian students and Jewish students and teachers. And at this concert celebrating the, the peace and the community and different languages and different communities that coming together to play music. For three days, the celebrations ended with solemn vespers in the Church of St. Saviour, moments that became new opportunities for meeting with an invitation to participate addressed to the representatives of all the Christian communities present in the Holy City. We need, even as Palestinian Christians who live here in the Holy Land, unity among all Christian communities. Maybe we have some misunderstanding, but brotherly, and with the love of Jesus, we solve all the problems as a brothers, as a real Christian.